Okay, let's take a look at two different ways to approach the same LZ. The first is the most traditional way, so we'll just sort of uh, climb a little bit so we can gain some speed in this turn. Having the nose down a bit, I want to be moving at my full uh, flight speed as I come down this runway on this normal approach. Now, okay, I'm already flaring, okay, I've already got my nose up, I'm already in a washing off speed, basically, as I come down the runway. And 140 is a good sort of an approach speed, so I'm just going to continue until I get to about 100 meters away from where I want to land, and then I'm going to start flaring. Last little bit. And then we're down. Now compare that to this, where I'll come in at full speed on this fast approach and hook turn line. I'm going to fly at full speed down the runway and I'm going to do a maximum performance turn at the end of the runway to turn myself back to the LZ and the turn is where I'm going to wash off my speed because unlike this turn where I have my nose down in this other turn I'm going to, in the uh, final approach turn I'm going to have my nose up and that's going to be washing off speed for me so let's have a look at this one coming in along this different approach like a boss still full speed Okay, now we throw it over in a roll, get on that thing. Totally different kind of an approach to a landing, so much quicker. Spend so much less time over the LZ doing it that way, which is why I practice it. So that is the two different approaches. So you've got one where you're coming in and you start slowing down around here and you reach your approach speed around here and you make your final approach here and touch down there and another one where you come in at full speed you begin your flare here you <laughs> get down to your approach speed around here and you make your final approach to the LZ from there so much quicker